Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. We're going to be explaining the LinkedIn networking application. Um, once you've installed the application on your desktop, you're going to double click on the icon to bring the application up. Um, you're going to have to sign into your account and uh, we will sign in here real quick for you. You're going to have to enter this CAPTCHA in. Once we have this in here, it'll bring you to your, your account. And uh, to use the software, you see you have the LinkedIn website in the left part of the application. Um, this is really how you do your keyword search. This is how you narrow down your search criteria. You actually use the website. Um, what happens is you're going to do a people search. If for some reason um, the application is pulling up, if it, you know, if it starts on jobs or groups or answers, you're going to have to select people. Uh, once you have it on, on that, you're going to hit advanced and it'll bring you to this page, which is where you can narrow down your search criteria uh, even more. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to pick out the keywords um, that you want to advertise on or, or market to or you're going to hit, um, you're going to type in the title. So if you want to, you know, find uh, CEOs of companies, CFOs or, or CMOs or any other job title that you want to reach out to, uh, you can enter it there. Uh, you can search by company, by school. Um, the, uh, one of the greatest features is you can actually search by location. If you want to enter a zip code in, uh, you can uh, click on the drop down menu basically and, and select located in or near and uh, that'll bring up this, these additional fields here. Uh, you can type in whatever zip code you want. For this we'll do 49111 and we'll do a search within 100 miles. And uh, basically if we, uh, for this we'll, we'll probably do the keyword internet marketing. And uh, anyway, once you, once you narrow down the search criteria, you hit search and then it pulls up a list of search results. Now these are anybody that's in your network, which means that anybody who shares a group, uh, anybody that shares a connection, uh, I think up to three levels deep, uh, is in your network. So your, your potential network, if you're in a lot of groups, is you know, potentially 15, 20, 30 million people. Uh, we recommend joining as many groups as possible, having uh, you know, a membership in groups that have a lot of members, uh, just to expand your network a lot quicker. And uh, once you pull up the, the search results here, uh, you'll see that LinkedIn allows you to send a regular message to these people that are in your network. And you can see they're in your network by you know, one shared group or you know, some type of connection that you're in. Uh, but basically what you're going to do is um, you come over here to the subject. You're going to type in your subject line. Um, and you can type in any subject line that you wish. Uh, for this, we'll probably do uh, beta testing. And then we'll type in a message that we send. Uh, I've already got one prepared just to, uh, to make this video a little bit shorter. And then to run the application, all you have to do is uh, hit start sending messages down here. And what happens is the software uh, sends a message to every one of these people. Now, sometimes uh, the software will have a little glitch where you have to uh, hit next uh, to get it going again. Uh, but it should just start sending out the messages one after the other. Uh, now also, if it does happen that it doesn't send the message out right away, you can actually just wait for a couple minutes and it will start sending out the messages automatically. Um, there's just sometimes a delay in uh, the software requesting information from LinkedIn server. So not a big issue. Sometimes you just have to wait a couple minutes. Um, or you can hit next and it will um, basically start the application again and, and start sending the messages out. So you can see the uh, the software is sending out messages to the people that we've pulled up in the search results and uh, you know just very easy just a couple things that you gotta enter in to uh, get a campaign going but the software will run through a list of 100 uh, search results and then it will stop uh, if you have a basic you know free account on LinkedIn. Um, if you have a paid account on LinkedIn and you, and you can send out you know, 300 to 700, um, or if you can find 300 to 700 results in a, in a search query, then you can send messages out to every one of those. 
If not, you have to basically just go in and, and uh, type in a new zip code and, uh, and then hit start sending messages again and it will run through another 100 emails. Um, we have another version of the software that's coming out very soon where you can actually uh, type in multiple zip codes and it will start sending out 100 per zip code and we'll cycle through them until it's done. Uh, we recommend only sending out 800 to 900 emails uh, in a day from your LinkedIn account and I would recommend setting up a new LinkedIn account for each campaign that you want to run uh, that way you can keep better track of your uh, of your conversion rates and all that and, and manage your specific campaigns a lot easier. When you're starting a new LinkedIn uh, uh, account to run a new campaign with uh, it's a good idea to complete your profile as much as possible and then join as many groups as possible to expand your network and then you can have a you know a great uh, LinkedIn account to you know to reach out to specific industries or specific people. Um, so anyway, that concludes the uh, the training session for today. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at our office um, at 904-329-4003, and we can answer any questions that you might have. Uh, we appreciate your time and and you taking the time to beta test this for us, and uh, we uh, look forward to hearing the results and the success that you have with it. Thanks a lot.